Right then folks, welcome back to another video beer review. Today we've got a beer coming out of it's another Aldi one. Don't hold it against me. But anyway, another, another Aldi one. It's a Dorset IPA coming in at 5% ABV. I think it's Aldi. I'm fairly sure it's Aldi. It is Aldi. Um, there you go. I don't know how long this has been in supermarkets. I guess it's been in there since, well, a very long time ago. A bold West Coast style IPA with citrusy edge. Basically being... Obviously the past two reviews have been uh, Aldi beers, but I've been over the past year or so trying to work my way through different ones that you get. I don't go, go there all, you know, especially often. I don't really buy the beers that, from there in terms of the ales all that often either. But when I do, I'm always trying to find something that, you know, I could go back to and I drink again. Like um, last night I had the um, caramel biscuity beer or whatever it was called it was the uh caramel biscuit beer it was um and i really enjoyed that i thought that was good um this one style you know west coast so it's, it's brewed by hall and woodhouse and i do like a badger beer um hoppy fruity ale best of jill it's not it's just been sat on the, the temperature i like it um so it's a badger beer basically isn't it so um Let's see how it is. Still not using a pint glass, but anyhow, we'll use this one this evening. The Leviathan glass. Ew. I know. It's it's a Hogman glass, but not a Hogman beer. Um, I need to, I need to find some Hogman ales, and you can't get Hogman ales online at the moment. Is what I I found when I was looking the other day. I think he's just doing stuff for tap room. Anyhow, back on the beer. Um, golden kind of colour, slight kind of coppery tinge to it. Head was large and has died down. Um, nose is, oh, yeah, that is actually not bad for a West Coast IPA. Quite malty. Orange. This initial kind of reminding me of, it's not like if you've had Buckham Gorham IPA. Um, or even West Park, so it's now Renegade, their Maharaja IPA. It's that sort of hoppiness. And then behind it, it's like um, it's like caramel. Bit of a toffee note. Slightly earthy. We'll dive in. Cheers. West Coast, I don't know. It's more an English style IPA that's been brewed with some American hops. I wouldn't agree at all that this is West Coast. Um, because it's actually got quite a lot of punchy citrusiness, nothing quite like a New England at all. Um, I'd just say it's a good solid IPA, but not West Coast. Um, more like a tr traditional English sort of style, but like I said, brewed with American hops. It's citrusy, slightly piney, a little bit earthy, a little bit floral. Um, nice. It's all right, you know. I'd have, probably have a few of them, if I'm honest. Gentle carbonation. Nothing crazy about it. Just a nice, easy going beer, that one. Um, yeah, Dorset IPA from Aldi. Wow. Turn up for the book, is that? Not bad at all. See you next one. Cheers.